it's Randy T Bird on Sunday. I have some more video. I had a, a viewer wanted to see some pictures of twisties here in Arizona after some, seeing some of the long, long straight desert highway road rides. So I'm obliging by taking a run up 87 and uh, going through some of the sweepers up here. I mean, it's not like a uh, you know, super tight turns, but it is some really nice uh, sweepers up here ahead as you go up the mountain and you go from the desert up to the uh, transition zone where you start getting up to about 3,500 feet elevation. Uh, Mount Ord off there in the distance. And the turns begin. Beautiful desert. Look at all those swaros. It's funny, I never noticed that big rock out there before. My folks used to live up in Payson, Arizona. I used to go up back in the 80s. I used to go up literally every weekend, you know, because when I was younger, you know, living on my own, uh, I always could get a good Sunday dinner at my folks' house, you know, and go visit and help my dad around, chop firewood, you know, he always had stuff for me to do. And uh, just hang out for the day and ride back. It was always a real nice ride. I used to feel like I knew every inch of this highway. And now back in the days before they went to the divided highway in a lot of spots, so there was a lot of uh, two-way traffic areas and it slowed down real quite a bit when the, uh, the weekend traffic was on in the summer. But uh, they built the highway. So you got a lot of uh, a lot of room to run now. A ton of off-road vehicles out today. I've been seeing them come out by the trailer load and guys in jeeps and bunches of side-by-sides and stuff. It's just the days of getting out into the desert uh, are starting to dwindle because of the the heat coming. So people are taking advantage of that. Rover or Mercedes, one of those two. The place down by where I work is people do some sort of uh, Land Rover restoration thing and they've always got a bunch of them in there and they look to be almost like the uh, international models. I don't see a lot of them around so it must be a specialty thing but uh, they seem to be doing a brisk business. They're always dragging them in there and doing something with them. I only talked to them a couple times, seemed like nice people. There with my off-site warehouse, I'm not there a whole lot. And just uh, more of a storage place than anything, so I don't spend a lot of time there. Anyway, that's off on another subject. This is Highway 87 in Arizona. One of my favorite rides, obviously. And as you can see, we're starting going up through the mountains here now get into some turns. Sycamore Creek, that's a real, that's ah, got some water in it. Yeah, that won't last long. It's a lot of uh, creeks up here and they make people back east laugh. Down south, uh, call them creeks, most of the time there's no water in them, but uh, when the snow melt up north and uh, whatever rain they get in the mountains, it does tend to come down through here. You can get some flash floods in those washes, it can be very dangerous. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Oh, my speed is... Hmm. Must have been the car behind me going that fast. This road here uh, takes you up to a place called Sunflower. I've talked about in other videos. Won't get into any more detail on that. But some nice turns through here. I'm no road racer, I just like to do the, what I call it, the World War II fighter plane droops and swoops through the through the turns, ride the apexes, dive in like, like I'm going after a Stuka. It's kind of a weird situation here is where the road actually crosses under 
so that the northbound lanes are normally where you'd expect the southbound lanes to be. But then it switches back. It's just kind of a weird thing. It kind of amuses me. I'm somewhat easily amused, apparently. So, there's an area that burned many years ago that still looks kind of stripped of vegetation, but it's coming back. It takes a long time for the desert to recover once it's been burned. I love the sound of my motor when it's under a little bit of load going through the hills. It really sounds. It's got that distinctive Harley Davidson sound as it uh, chugs up the hill. This bike, this 114 inch motor has just got so much torque. It's almost like there is no power band. It just, right above idle, if you're rolling, it's got acceleration power. There's no building up or no no peakiness. It just, just rumbles and goes. It's, it's like a locomotive. I can't remember who it was that wanted to see twisties. It was somebody that was uh, commented on my uh, Picacho Peak video. So here you go, man. I hope you're watching and enjoying. You get really close to these mountain peaks here. It's so awesome. Just more of the beauty of Arizona. Pretty soon here, the uh, the uh, the terrain starts changing to more of a Pinyon junipers and uh, more of a grasslands thing, less desert. Uh, the, the saguaros will just kind of end here soon. They don't really grow above a certain elevation level. And even then they grow mostly on the south sides once you get a little higher. And then they're done. And one thing about riding a heavier bike through the twisties they uh, they do let you know that they're heavy after a while although this bike is very very sweet handling I remember riding shovel heads through here sometimes you gotta be like hanging off the side of them to get them to turn uh, that old frame on the old uh, four-speed style frame was uh, not a road racer by any means uh -oh, somebody got trouble down I wonder if we're okay. I must be taking a piss. Did I say that out loud? I'm sorry. We're taking pictures. Look at that beautiful sight. Look at that. All right now we're starting to come up. You can feel it just seems like you go around one turn and the air cools off because we're probably 3,000 feet right now and you can see how the terrain just changes like in a matter of couple miles and the little scrub pines or pinyon junipers open range there's still cactuses up here they they got call them the uh, oh I don't know I don't know exactly what they're called they, they look like they look like ping pong paddles and uh, got a lot of spikes on them uh, maybe they're prickly pears I don't know I've never seen any fruit on them, but that's what grows up here at the higher elevations and uh, See some of those peaks ahead, they're probably up in the 5,000 to 6,000 feet range. Uh, this peak right here is Mount Ward, and then it's got the towers on top of it. There's a fire control tower up there. This is Sunflower. Bushnell Tanks area. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot get in here still. Beautiful box canyon back in there where I got a lot of memories, a lot of camping trips, whatever. The cottonwoods still don't have all their leaves back yet. That'll be another month or so. It's still cool, cool at night here. I'm gonna stop. Well, a lot of people at the rest area today. This is Bushnell Tanks Road. Turns into dirt right away. A little rough, but not bad. Bump, 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 bump. Anywho. Well, this is Randy T-Bird out here at Arizona. I'm, uh... 
thank you for watching and subscribe how you doing gentlemen and uh this is me signing out from arizona enjoy